All right, welcome to this tutorial on how to add any scar of your choice to the character creation overhaul mod. Now, for starters, we are going to need the BG3 Modders multi-tool. I'm going to explain how to download this. I will include a link to this GitHub page in the description, but if you've never worked with GitHub before, it might be a bit confusing on where to find everything. So this will be linked in the description. You will go here and here it'll say releases. You click the latest. There, you just click bg 3 modders multi tool.zip. Download it, give it a second. All right, open that. Now, just select all of this by holding your left mouse and just clicking all. And then we're gonna copy. And you can put this wherever you want. I'm gonna put it in my tutorial folder for a second because, you know. Uh, so I'm gonna make a folder called multi tool. And uh, I'm going to paste this in here. Now, when we're in here, we are going to want to double click the BG3 modders multitool.exe. Now, it says here configuration needed missing BG3.exe. This is only important if you're actually going to mod. What we need is just one of the utilities. So I'm not going to explain how to fully set up the modders multitool. I will explain this in a different video, but that's not important right now. Next up, we're gonna grab a scar of our choice. I'm grabbing one of the random neck scars from Hearts Wires. So let's see, let's grab the After Act Face Only scar, which I've used before. Now for you, uh, when you click manual download, you might see like slow or fast download. I have Nexus Premium, so it skips that step for me. Now I'm gonna open this file. This will lead to a bunch of folders. We're gonna click through this, and first thing we're gonna see is which scar we wanna replace. This assumes you have the vanilla scars you want to replace. Let's say replace scar one. That way we can remember scar one is the new one. We're going to click through this and it's going to lead to a bunch of folders. Just click through it until you reach, there we go, skin shared scars msk.dds. Now left click, right click to copy. I'm going to put this, um, let's see, where is it? in my scars tutorial folder, uh, paste. So I keep everything in the same place. That's just easier for me. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the multi-tool, which we should still have open. Otherwise you can just go back here and click this again. And when we're in the multi-tool, we're going to go to utilities and then Atlas converter. This will open a new pop-up window where we will convert from Atlas sheet to frames. We will select the file and then we will head to where this file is saved. So for me, it's this file path. So here, tutorials, scars, and then this is the one we need. Important thing here is you need to navigate to where you just exported the scar you want to use. Then, and this is important, so keep your eyes on the screen for a second. We're gonna set horizontal frames to five and vertical frames to two. If you don't do this, it will not convert it properly. Then we're gonna select output and I just use the same folder that I am using. So the scars folder, select folder, convert. And as you can see, there is now, it says Atlas deconstructed and there is now a new folder called skin shared scars MSK. When we open this, and I'm gonna set the view to large icons for a second, you can see that there are 10 files here labeled zero to nine. And if we open these, so for example, this is the burn scar, which is scar number nine in the game. This scar zero is actually scar one. As you can see, this is the after act face scar, which is the custom scar we've just downloaded. Now. This scar, which is actually labeled number one in the files, is not used in character creation selection. I won't spoil anything, but this is an act three scar. What's important to note is we can never replace 0001 because the game cannot pull from it in act three if we do that. Now, we've deconstructed this, but what you also wanna do is you wanna grab the uh, zip file that I have included on the mod page where you can, let me see where I put that. Here we go. Uh, adding your own scar of choice.zip. Now I have it here, but you'll have it in your downloads probably. 
and that will lead to a file folder called scars. So we're going to copy that and we're going to move back to this one. So scars, AKA the one where I'm putting everything. If for you, you're putting everything in a different folder, just navigate to that folder, navigate anywhere. I don't care. Uh, and we're going to paste that. So this is from the zip file that is on the mod page. When we open this, we will see a few things included. More scars.png, uh, the scar atlas sheet separated and generated. I will explain the use for all of these in a second. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to check the scar atlas sheet separated for a second. Now I'm going to put this on extra large icons again. As you can see, this includes scar zero to nine as the other file does, but it also includes 10 to 19 because this mod expands the scars by twice the size, which means there are twice as many scars to choose from, which means there are twice as many scars in the Atlas. Now, normally the after X scar replaces zero, 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 zero. You can do that if you want to, but scar 19 by default comes with a little custom lip scar and is the one that I'm going to replace in this tutorial. Uh, the mod by default comes with all the vanilla scars and all the vanilla scars flipped. So nine is the burn scar, 18 is the burn scar flipped, as you can see. Important to note here, never replace this one. You will get issues later in the game. Don't touch this one. Um, so we're going to navigate back to where we have our custom scar we want to add, which is this one, right? The after X scar. So we're going to right click it and we're going to copy. But before we do that, we want to name it something so it won't be named 0000, because that's not the one we want to override. For now, let's name it after act, right? So we remember which it is. Now we're going to right click and copy, and we're going to navigate to the folder called scar atlas sheet separated. Right click, paste. Now you can replace any of these, any at all. I'm going to do 19. So what I want to do to replace 19 is I'm going to right click, delete the original one, right click, rename and name this 0019. There we go. Now you can do this as many times with as many scars as you want. You can grab any scars from this page or another scar page, whatever you want, and just replace 18 if you want, replace 17 if you want, replace one if you want, I don't care. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to do one of them. So as we can see, scar 19 is now our custom after act scar. Now we're going to go back to the multi-tool, specifically the Atlas converter. Now we're going to do it the other way around. So we're going to convert from frames to Atlas sheet, select files. We're going to head to scars, scar Atlas sheet separated, which is where we just put our custom scar. And we're going to left click this one. Hold shift, left click this one. So it selects all of them in one go. Open. Now again, important, five horizontal frames. Select output. There is a file already in the scars called morescars.png. Just overwrite this. This way you are sure to have the right naming because the name does matter for this mod, otherwise it doesn't work. So click this and just click save. It already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, we do. And then we click convert. This is a relatively fast process, but you can check in the modders multi-tool. It will say constructed Atlas sheet. So now we go back here and if we open the more scars.png, you will see if you zoom in, there it is in the last slot, the after X scar. Now, one more program we're going to need for this is paint.net. This is something that you can just install yourself, honestly, but I'll walk you through it. Okay, wait, paint.net, download. All right, this is what we're going to need uh, for the Atlas conversion because it needs to work in the game in a specific way. So we're going to download it. You can say here, as you can see, just download now. Click download now. And then here, free download now, paint.net which good that I'm doing this, by the way, because I had to update it anyway. Then there is an exe, double click that. I will also include a link to paint.net in the description, by the way. It will be downloaded and installed. Yeah, that's great. Do that for me. 
We're going to give it a second. We're going to give it a second. <laughs> Should have done this in advance, maybe. Anyway, so express, yes, that's fine. I agree. Next. Removing, yeah, I have a previous version, so it's going to remove that for me. Um, and then it's installing that. Now, the reason we're using paint.net and not, for example, GIMP, which some other uh, mods use, is because GIMP does not have the compression we need. Only paint.net that I know of is a free compression software that has the compression we need. So we're going to finish and it's going to open. Now, we're going to file open and we are going to head to the same place we were just at and we're going to grab this one, more scars.png. So the new PNG we made, we're going to open this. Double check that it's the correct one. As you can see, if we move down a little bit here, it's the After Effects Scholars. So it's the correct one. Now, you're going to go to File, Save As. This is where the generated folder comes into play. This was also in this folder. As you can see, you click Generated, Public, Makeup Tattoos Scars, and there is nothing because we do not want to save this as a PNG. We want to save this as a direct draw service, aka DDS file. If you click that, you will see more underscore scars dot DDS. This is the one we're going to override. Click save. Do you want to override it? Yes, we do. Now it's going to ask us about the compression. There are a lot of options, but what matters is you get BC7 Linear DX11+. Plus. So if you can see, here we go, BC7 Linear DX11+. Plus. We're going to click that, and we're going to make sure to click Generate MIP Maps. Now this is important, otherwise it will look bad in game. Um, next up, we're going to click OK. That is going to save. We can close paint.net. Then lastly, all that's left to do is put the generated folder in your generated folders. So the easiest way to get to the folder where you're going to need to put this, right? First things first, right click it, copy. Just copy the entire thing from generated. So we're copying generated, public, makeup, tattoos, scars, more scars, yes? Now, the easiest way to find where you need to put this, so again, you need the entire generated folder. Copy that. Go to Steam and right-click Baldur's Gate 3. There, Manage, Browse Local Files. This will lead you to the Baldur's Gate files. There you click Data. This is where you need to be. Now, there's a bunch of stuff in here for me. There might not be for you. There might not even be anything in there. As you can see, there is already a generated folder for me. I'm just going to right click anywhere here that's not a folder, just like to the right, and click paste. Now, I already have a file in there. All you got to do is replace the file in the destination. So we're going to replace the file in the destination if you already have it. If you don't have a file there already, this is it. You just paste it here and it will create a generate folder. And that's it. This scar will now be in slot number 19. As you can see, generated public, it added makeup tattoo scars, and there's the others in there too for me, but that's, you know, a different tutorial. But as you can see, the more scars DDS file is now in here, and you will have your custom app scar in slot number 19. Congrats.